Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to learn about nested streams and how can we use them to build apps. Here we have a PDF bookshelf where each book contains a PDF file. For example, here we are going to take only the index 1 from the data marshal and open the PDF in a different file. First, we have to install the Ethereum Data NFT SDK using this command. After that, we also need another SDK that is from Multiverse 6. Uh, we are going to get a MyLogin component where we are going to get a DeFi Wallet login button out of the box from Multiverse X SDK. After creating the component and downloading the necessary libraries, we can move forward to the bookshelf. Uh, this component is going to be the place where the books are going to be shown. At the beginning, we need the, the da data NFT nonces, which are going to be opened by Data Marshal. In our case, it's 545. If you are not sure how to find it, the data NFT details. There, you have a special identifier for each data NFT. And if you need the decimal value, you can get it from here. We need to take the token login from the um, already existing hook. After that, we are going to use the view data function to fetch the data marshal for the initial required data so we can start up our UI. Here, we are going to use this function to get the data NFTs that corresponds with the nonces we provided. After we got our NFT, we can go along with the process. We have to check if the, the token login is already defined and uh, if we have a native auth token. If it's so, we can continue. In this arguments object, we can see that we use the same data that we used uh, before in common props. Now, we are going to call the fetch on the data marshal to open the required NFT. The response will be a blob and if it's not an error, we are going to go and uh, get the data required for the initialization of UI. Here the response is parsed and after that transform in an object, JSON object. Then we set our data, uh, the data stream and uh, the books. If uh, we have not a token login, then we are going to uh, show the connect button. Otherwise, we are going to show the shelf. Here we are going to, if we have the books, we are going to map them into the book component. Now let's go and create a book component. In the book component, we can see that we have props which are going to be used so we can initiate the UI. These props are going to be taken or uh, passed uh, from the data marshal response, as you can see here in the bookshelf. After that, we have some styling here working, and we, as we can see, here we put the background image to be uh, the image that we passed from the bookshelf. The book's UI is made entirely from HTML and CSS. We can see that we used the props that we already declared and passed from the bookshelf to create the UI necessary for the display. We also have a button to open the file. Here we can observe that the user are, is going to call the getBookPDF method. 
In this method, we can see that we are going to open the data NFT uh, with the help of the data marshal. All, also, we can observe that here we have the nested index to stream that is going to indicate which book we want or PDF we want to, to fetch from the data marshal. Also, we have some error handling methods when creating the PDF object. After it's created, we are going to open it. As a final demo, we are going to present the whole app. The first step is to connect the wallet. In the console log, we can see the raw response of the data marshal, which is an application JSON as a blob. And after we process it, you can see that here we have an object with data and the data stream which can hold information that is viable for all the books like the creator, the modified date. Now, when the user wants to open a book and when pressing the button, the get book PDF is called. Here we can see that the data marshal already got the PDF file and expose it. In the console, we can observe that the blob is now an application PDF. We are not exposing the file of the PDF, we just get the PDF file. Be sure to find the sample code and access links to data NFT files and other valuable resources in the video description below. Thank you for joining us and as always, happy coding!